What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to check out another photo by Perseverance, and this is on Sol 13. There's a couple weird things in this photo that are clearly are not natural, and there may be a part two to this as well, because there's other interesting things as well in the background. All right, let's jump right into this. Here's the photo right here, and you'll get the link as always, and you can see it up here. It is Mars 2020 raw images, and it says surface, and it says Sol 13. And the objects we're going to take a look at is one right here on the left-hand side of the page. You can see it here just right of my cursor, right there, right here. And this area down here where it looks like, uh, like dirt over these rocks, right, and kind of a smooth area. Now, the thing I want you guys to take note of is just look at the photo. Do you see anything out of line that doesn't look right at all? Let's jump in and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. First of all, why do we have green? We have like a purplish-pinkish kind of thing going on here. We have... Down here, little specks all in this corner are green. Now, I've seen this a million times, guys. This is centering at its finest. How do I know that? Well, let's just take a look at this one rock, and you can see while well, they left this rock, or this little rock that's kind of buried in the dirt, but look at the green around it. Now, I'm going to show you guys that a lot better. All right, so the objects we're going to be looking at are over here, left-hand side, one here. Notice how it has this kind of arch to it right there at the edge, that nice little crisp edge. And there's very slight white or lighter color there. And there's another thing that's another telltale sign. It's pretty interesting, too. And we'll get into that. Check this out. Something right here. See how you can just see it's like it's all smooth out? This is all complete manipulation, guys. Absolutely. Look at the difference right here on the right-hand side. This little rock, supposed little rock. And, of course, you can see these little squares and things all over that. But we'll just say it's a rock, right? Notice the texture here. And just right over here at this edge turns all green. Why would it turn green? Some people may say, well, it's something to do with the RGB color in the uh, actual photos. It is not. It is manipulation. Like I said, guys, I've seen this a million times in these photos. Anyway, enough jaw jacking. Let's jump right into this. Okay, this is what we're looking at right here. And it's a little bit brighter photo. You can see that. Same exact photo. Let's jump right into this. This is interesting because I want you guys to take note of this too. Notice this thing. Got this weird edge to it, right? I want to use a color so everybody can see. Going like this. Kind of overshot that, but that's okay. And of course, it looks kind of smooth there. You don't really see the rest of that, right? But take a good, close look. You can see what looks like another line. Going like this. Kind of wavy. Like this here, right? Now, put that together with this here. Going like this. If there's a smooth edge to this... What else is it part of? And we'll get into that. Check this out. This. Notice the lines. Once you use the burn tool, you'll see something pretty interesting in here. Let's zoom into this a little bit more. Okay. You're going to see what looks like this weird, funky 7. And I'm tracing it right now because I can see this pretty darn well. Going like this. Going like this. I should have been a little more straighter because it is actually straighter. Has what looks like a circle here on the right here. Now, let me take that off for a moment. Notice it right here. And you're going to see this a little bit better too, the rest of uh, this said ground, right? I started going into this a little bit at a time. Here we go. Notice this line is coming in just a little bit more prominent. You can start to see it a little bit here, kind of going like this. And again, we have this piece right here. Nice, crisp straight edge okay let's keep going wait a minute so now i brought this out a little bit more brought up the lines we have something sitting on top of said object but i'm seeing this right here and we see what looks like this area here now you see this a little bit better once i bring up more of these lines it's not so much straight but it actually goes like this a little bit we have a part where that fits into a part. So does it have an edge like this? And of course, we don't see the other part of that underneath this top piece. Is this some kind of trap door or some kind of mechanism that opens up like a clamshell type thing? So I'm trying to burn this away. And again, we got this little space between these. And I'm going to say top cover here. It almost looks like something you would build if you are building an emergency fallout shelter or some kind of storm cellar or basement, if you will, right? It almost looks like this thing could open 
And this is the surrounding part of it that this kind of this cover seeps into, right? At least that's the way it looks for me. Let's keep going with this. Take out some of the color. And you'll notice now there seems to be some kind of weird crack in that. Now, I did not see that earlier, but you can see it right here. Okay? Almost like this is concrete, right? And it has a crack in the corner of this. Yeah? Let's keep going. And you can see this a little better. Now, we have these other little objects that are sitting on top. We had this one here to the left. Now we have this other one here to the right. What is that thing? And what is this that we're looking at? To me, again, this looks like some kind of underground entrance. Right there. And this lid opens and closes. Now, let's have a look at this other part down here. And I'm just going to go fully enhance on that one. Right here. Now, me personally, it looks like some kind of piece of steel or something along that line. Notice here, you can see that thing much, much better. I'm going to go back to the original. It's right there. I can see that with ease. Absolutely with ease. Right there. Like this. Straight up. Goes across. And it has this right here. See that? No problem whatsoever. Right there. The outline is there. We're simply bringing it back. Okay? Now what I found interesting about this piece down here was this. What looks like a lighted edge of said piece and you can see the actual shape of this going up right what are we looking at here guys is this nothing more than just a crazy shaped rock or is this some kind of weird tool some kind of piece of steel a fragment of something intelligently made i also want you to take note of all the blurring going on notice right here it'll slip it down the edge here goes like this okay this area here in the middle is the one that has the detail. The rest of this, this black, is absolutely garbage. This is what they're putting all over this photo. Now, to me, this doesn't look natural at all. And again, we have these pieces right here. In the center here, that's the clearest. That has the most detail. The rest of this has been covered up. Now, let me show you something pretty interesting I think you guys will like. Let's go back to the original. I want to show you these areas and really bring them out, like we can see it right here. That are absolutely being manipulated. Let's just do this. Let's just equalize it, right? Then we'll do this. Okay. What are we seeing here? Look at the green down here. All the green. This is manipulation. And notice how this piece happens to be in that manipulation, right? It's a little brighter up here. But you can still see all the green around this other piece, right? Notice the green is right here at the edge of that so-called wall. I call it a wall. To me, this looks like some kind of bunker entrance or underground entrance. Of course, this is pure speculation, but that's what I'm seeing. Again, notice how it's all green on here because that's what they're using to take this stuff out. And you can see plenty of blur in here, stuff that's being taken out of this photo. This, to me, again, seems like some kind of door or something that flips open and closed. There it is in black and white. Right there. Like I said, slowly bring it out. Little pieces on top. Looks like junk just thrown on top. And what we have, it looks like this little lid that opens up. And you can see there's a small corner. It's either been damaged or it's designed that way. I'm not sure. And of course, what we have down here. This to me, again, does not look natural in any way, shape, or form. And this thing goes up like this here. Again, what looks like this funky looking seven, but it looks like a weird piece of steel or something that may be intelligently made. And of course, you guys get the last words. You can tell me what you think, right? And there you go, folks. Stuff that's being hidden from the public. And it's right here, right in front of this rover. And it's taking pictures of it.
And there's much more in this photo, like I said, and you're going to see that in the second part. All right, folks, what are you seeing in here? I'm seeing things. One looks like some kind of weird trap door. Maybe it's access to an underground home. We've talked before about maybe a lot of these Martians went underground. Who knows, right? But that's the way it looks. It looks like something you can pick up and then drop back down, right? What is it? Again, we have something that looks like some kind of weird artifact. It doesn't look natural. Is it possible it still rocks underground? But we have that weird-looking seven-type shape thing. What is it? What could it possibly be? As always, drop your comments down below, guys. Let me know what you think. And please like and share. It is appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. Anyway, guys, got some more crazy Mars and lunar anomalies coming up. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, guys, I will see you guys in a Friday evening hangout, 5 p.m. Eastern time. See you there. Until then, peace.